Welcome to Fresh vs. Frame, episode 6. We're going to hop into some mini, complete some challenges, mini royale. And find them at miniroyale.io. Mini Royale Raid Clan War event tomorrow. We'll be streaming that. We may be be do. We may be 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 I took the whole beginning out in middle of the syllable. Subscribe, like, share, retweet, all the things. Help us grow the DLA DAO as a private, decentralized, autonomous organization. That's what the DAO stands for. And if you want to find all the information about it, links in the description or simply type in DLA DAO dot world. Fresh, what, what, what are we doing today? What chaos are you going to get us into and piss me off in this game? What are we doing? Capture the flag? What? Ah, uh, yeah. Capture the flag. So, you know, it's going to be fun. Um, All right. Who the fuck is Salty Badger Crypto, and why are they on my list and level 80? <laughs> I don't know. They followed me a long time ago, so I followed them back. So that's probably why. Be nice right. addition to the clan. We do have clan spots open. There's been a lot of requests, people who are not the membership holders or not even in the Discord, and they have not been doing their thing. They've not been playing whatsoever. They requested, and a lot of people come in and play the game a couple of days or request the clan. Now, there are some that we recruited that are putting up some numbers, so we're excited to see the clan is bigger than it's ever been. But we still have some open spots. So if you are a gamer out there who wants to earn your loan playing games, come and join us. Come join the Mini Royale Clan. Also, we got spots in the EVIO Clan. Shout out to Tombstone. Just going absolutely ballistic. Winning his second season in a row platinum token. There's only been two seasons so far, so... Uh, I would say that's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd have to say. Um, <laughs> shit, I he was sending another something. screenshot earlier. Oh, sorry, I was gonna say he sent me another screenshot earlier. Another 600e game. Oh, nice. Another one. No, that was after the one I retweeted or tweeted. Nice. Um, I was gonna say if you're new joining the clan, remember we do give out prizes to the the rookie of the week or the rookie of the raid or whatever you want to call it, the, the person who's new to the clan and does the best gets a reward for that. If, if you you're win. a membership holder. You yeah, if you're a membership holder and we have to place, we have to earn something as a clan. You know, yes. like if we don't place, nobody wins, right? Not paying exactly. you to not place, bro. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> None of that laziness around here. We place and we top around here. Tombstone, Fresh, Rooster, Loki, our whole new EVO clan, Oligati, Vagalai, all of them. You got, oh, Tom, or Quasi, he should be back for the Mini Royale Nation clan wars, hopefully. A lot going keep, on. Keep him in your prayers. Run. He's not been feeling well. Exactly. We've got a ton of talented shooters, and if you come in here... You come in here and you're dragging ass, they're gonna shoot it off. So, <laughs> but the, D <laughs> the DLA Dow D membership is a private membership into our organization and does give you access to the clans. You can join the clans without those, but you will not be getting the rewards that Fresh was mentioning for when the clan does well. Our own reward system that we are have cooked up what we're working on working on one for you honestly bro, we, we're well. flying by the seat of our pants we we figure out what we want to give you guys after we win or lose because depending on what you guys deserve because it's not it's not something that's written in it's something that you know we're doing to to keep our our clan members and our membership members happy um yeah so but, you earn your in-game rewards but then you'll earn these rewards 
from the organization itself on top of your in-game rewards if you are really putting in those numbers like fresh said we always have a rookie of the season for the end of the season reward so it's gonna be like most of uh the core clan are not rookies anymore so they don't qualify exactly there's a lot of open spots and you know somebody's got to take the top spots from our uh our dow devs you know because it, we we all got prizes and donated them back to the dow because you know it's not really yeah. fair for us to take prizes so yeah, y'all gotta get y'all gotta get ahead of us. We can't be Rooster Fresh and I can't be top three during these clan raids. Shit is wild. I wanna see y'all. I wanna see y'all performance. Outperform us. I'm I'm not even that good. I just I strategically figured out the staking the NFT economic point thing. Or at least somewhat. Good, bro. Like I suck. <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody So there's one person who joined our clan And I think his name's What's his name and I just got every single one of them 4-0 to start out that match Yeah, ready for the AK, son? Boy, um, but boy. he has a 23 KDR He's what? a level 50 What now? Yeah is he a sniper? I don't know. His kills was in is like four thousand kills, but only had seven hundred deaths. So some it was ridiculous numbers. I was like, holy hell! But he hasn't played. Um, like he was inactive for a while, and then he played. I guess right towards the end of the season for the clan war, or was trying to. But he never really did anything, so I don't know. He's not been active yet, but I'm trying to give him a chance to be active. If he's that good. Because spots are limited. It's not because of us. Mini Royale put a max on the amount of clan members. Well, they had a max of 100 before, but now it's a lot lower. It's only 30. And I would say at this point, what? 10 uh, to 12 of those spots are the membership holders. Yep. And active, so they're not going anywhere. Could even have maybe, well, be close to 15. I'd have to look again. A lot of exciting stuff coming out, too. They're following us with the Dow. We are building, building, building. I think the whole timeline completed for Q1. I know it's a, a little late, but considering a migration doing everything did, I, did you see what i sent you on the membership game today oh yeah yeah the governance game is looking very pretty i just got it just about ready so that's that in the q100 is the final timeline <laughs> mark offs and then this whole rest of this quarter is just Developing and promoting. Developing forgotten corners. You want to hear something funny? That. So I, um, I've been coding the player movement all by myself, right? Like, actually coding it. Oh, nice. If you, go, but if you go to the, um, package manager, they have a player input system. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. When I was working on, um, well, you've already told everybody a lot on space. When I was working on the FPS, it, uh, I had to go through all the packages and stuff to was set that it a up. rooster? That was my dog. Oh. Let's see what he's doing. What's he barking at? Oh. All right. Hold on a second. I got to go grab my dog. I'll be right back. This is a perfect song for me. Or maybe not phony, but lonely. Just get out my way. Swerving through lanes, I be drifting away. I can't complain, swear that I'll be okay. 
we are not the same. No, I'm never gonna change. All right. The dog is a dog of many barks. <laughs> so funny, bro. You left, and then the song came on. I've been so lonely, lonely, lonely. <laughs> Well, that's a good short clip. I don't think we made it on purpose. Like they put that music in there. We did, just we didn't choose the song, huh? Yeah, this is a playlist from fucking YouTube royalty free because YouTube and everybody are such bitches about music for whatever fucking reason. Yeah. It doesn't really make sense. Like, you would think people would want their music on everything, so would, like more promotion, but I don't. The funniest shit will be if I get copyright strike for my own artists. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play my boy's music, and when I get a copyright strike, I'm coming for YouTube's neck. Ooh. Good thing there's plenty of different social media platforms like Twitch. Yeah, once Restream connects to Kick, uh, you'll find me at least over there. If y'all know about Kick, throw, throw some info down in the comments. Fresh is trying to convince me I've been on YouTube for a long time. I mean, I want to get paid, and Kick is paying more for subs and shit, so. I wonder if it is the, are they paying for subs consistently? They, they pay like, out they way more, thing, like for just to get people on the platform. So they pay out way more, like for active viewers and all that shit. Like they pay out way uh, more. Like Twitch with a better with a better payout. Nice. Yeah, at least we could stream to that simultaneously. Yeah, well, once restream connects, kick. Can we connect? Can we connect it with the RTPM? I don't know. Maybe. I bet we can. We can try. We don't try. Well, tomorrow maybe you'll catch us on kick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the bar. You put. A little... <laughs> I don't know how fast. I, I like to put. I like to put pressure on Ben like that. You know. Yeah. Don't do that. I don't know. Too much pressure, pressure makes diamonds, my guy. Yeah. It does. <coughs> Unfortunately, unlike a diamond, I don't last forever. So, <laughs> unlike a diamond, unlike a diamond. They said I'm like a diamond. I'm like, wait, no, un unlike a diamond. Thank unlike you. a diamond, a b. Did you get it that time? Nah, I, I I misunderstood you again. <laughs> They say, I'll get my feelings, I get in my bag. I'll sing it with auto tune. You guys are a fucking loser. <laughs> <coughs> uh, we got Butter Puppets in here. He's back. Butter. Butter Puppets. Did you just say he sniffed thousands of lines? There's been some real sketchy stuff I thought he said myself. And I don't know. Something about I don't know, taking a lot of dicks or something is what it sounded like. And I was like, whoa, bro. I mean, so if he's doing thousands of lines, he might be taking a lot of, you know. Mm -hmm. He might be the Wampler factory. <laughs> Getting all them hogs. Oh, to the hogs. And bacon. Just because I like bacon. Nah, <laughs> Shout out to bacon. More. Yeah. <laughs> That's the real, the real, uh, hair on. You know, they did some scientific studies that bacon got them things in it. They hit the same receptors in your brain as hair on. So bro, people we, get so addicted to bacon. We gotta discuss fucking Vancouver, bro. These motherfuckers legalized everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're telling me about that. Like, hey, you, oh, you thought we were talking about this morning in Grindstream. Shout out to Grind Junkies TV. Yeah, bro, that, like, I don't even know what to say about it. I just, I can't believe they have legalized everything like that. Like, I'm not surprised. Everybody has a shock. 
I figured Colorado was going to do it first. Yeah. But because cause Colorado had already got the mushrooms and maybe they were just going to stop there. Vancouver's like, everybody in the middle of town, we're getting high and having an orgy. It's the end of the world. That's what, Yo, <laughs> that's what they might as well came out and said on the thing. Nah. You see the bot yeah. levels right now? Uh-uh. What's wrong with them? They easy or hard? I haven't felt well, they're over a hundred most of them. I oh, really, yeah. I um, I'm having a hard time killing them. Oh, they are. That one's a level 118. Holy hell! Yeah, I, was, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I'm at nine. I've died a lot more than well, yeah. sometimes I die a lot, but he like buddy just popped the corner, level 118, popped the corner, and smoked my head. Yeah, he got all of us actually. <laughs> like I'm four and six. I'm nine and seven. I have been seeing trying to hide a little bit. I'm gonna strafe up. Here, look. At least I went even. Fuck. That was rough. We won. We won against the level hundred something bots. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Mini, Mini's really making me sweat for these NFT shards for this first season. For the first uh, week. <laughs> these one shards for doing a couple of different things. Whatever. I'm just going ahead and doing them, getting them knocked out before the new contracts release because I have a feeling you're going to be able to earn more of the same. For sure. With the new contracts. So I want to have those new shards ready. Because there's a bonus. Oh, it's this clan war. There's a big bonus for using them, isn't it? Or is it for staking? I can't remember. Let's look at the thing. You're a lot caught. You're a lot caught. I don't know. I want to say you're a lot calmer. Like somehow this episode has been calmer than last yesterday's episode. We were both blitzed out of our minds. I don't understand. I guess. <laughs> Dang. Oh, there goes Sambo again. He does kind of sound like a rooster when he barks like that, doesn't he? Ooh, whack Belladonna. Does, have you seen any level 100s this time? Level 71. Not really that different. I think I'm level 60 something. Ooh, level 90. Woo, boy. If they leave these bots up this high tomorrow, the raid, they're going to be interesting. Back here. One guy escaped. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they have fucking skill-based matchmaking, like Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, it's not fucking uh, level-based. It's actual skill-based. Uh, well, I mean, it's hard to say on that because we're both high-level and more skilled than most of the newer players so yeah but this is, so but that's the thing so when I, I play with you we both have good stats and we play bots with good stats and we play the same bots i don't play these bots when i'm with other people it's not the same uh, i see what you're saying so these you, these bots are that's why they're coming out as 90s because to get together we're like yeah, the value again, in our skill, skill based, against skill based matchmaking so like the average of our kills and deaths creates the bots probably that would make sense because that's how fucking call of duty does it there's some type of system built in like that 
Because I love everybody who's new comes to the game and gets so excited when they start getting a bunch of kills in the beginning. I know, every time. So they start bro, everybody levels. who's new is like, oh, I went 20 kills. I'm like, yeah. Bro. Yeah. Well, last. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Just wait. Not gonna lie, like if I was if I wasn't playing part of a clan, I'd create my own clan and make a whole bunch of shitty accounts and just <laughs> start them fresh and dump their fucking orbs. <clears throat> what do you mean you dump their orbs? Like because I could do so many challenges when you can get kills like that in a row, I would do all the, the orb challenges from a small level. And then after the, the certain days, I would just deposit their orbs, keep depositing their orbs. Oh, I was just saying, yeah. Wouldn't that be a multi, wouldn't that be called multi-accountant? Oh, would buddy, be... you'd get, again, I'm sure I'd get <laughs> shut down real quick. But this is what I'm saying, I'm not willing to try it even because we're I'm playing with the DAO and shit like that, right? Like, I still love to try to break games. Well, we need people like that to make sure the games are secure for the people who are, yep. are not trying to break the games. Yep. But now yeah, I don't break games unless you pay. Yeah, well, I'm not going to break your game unless you pay me now, though. Fuck that. It costs money for me to break your game because I got to stop doing other things to break your game. Yeah. <laughs> Took him out of his game breaking days. Back in the day, Fresh was a mass offender of game breakings, and now oh, he's fuck, yeah. changed his life around to be. I'm, I'm, now I'm a game maker. A, yeah, I make games. Yeah. So I don't break games. <laughs> Anything can happen here in DLA, DAO dot world. <laughs> it's magical. Some would say your life could be saved. Yo. Oh, yeah. Why you do that? You don't have to rat. Stop randomly yelling and saying things that are con uh, conversation extenders and then just go dark for. <laughs> I'm always expecting something to come after that, and there's nothing. The silence. How do you know I don't have threats? Uh, I'm pretty sure you don't have. Well, maybe you do. Oh, bro, I, I was, I was, yo, do, maple I was syrup. Gonna... <laughs> Free healthcare. Canada Goose, fuck. <laughs> Loon, loon, fuck. Loon? What is that? Yeah. Bird. What, the bird? Yeah. The and... bird that's on our $1 coin that we call a loony. Yeah. Okay. What? Right. Yes, we have $1 coins, bro. We do, too. We don't. Yeah, we do. We have golden eagles and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... We have like not. It's not a special thing, bro. When you go to the store and you get a, you get change, when you get a dollar, it's a coin. There's uh, no dollar bills. Do you have pennies anymore? Nope, got rid of them. All you have is just the dollar coins. The dollars, quarters, uh, nickels, dimes, and two dollar coins as well, called toonies. Called what? Toonies. Uh, okay. All right. I had so many questions, but now I'm just concerned with your one of your coins being called. What you just what did you just say it was? Toonie. T O O N I E. And then what's the other one? A loony. Okay, Toonie. I thought you said something else. Let's just said a poony. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> I was a, like, hey, there is a hand. polar bear on it, bro. It would make sense. What? Yeah, there's a polar bear on the $2 coin. Why would a poony? P, polar also... bear? Oh. Uh, like the like the loony? The, the, whatever, bro. Anyways. All right, I got you. Yeah, I got confusing money. 
not bro. like the U.S. dollar. Well, you have your money. Money is based off of the U.S. dollar. So. so it's the exact same shit. We just have co- some, I mean. some coins instead of bills. Yeah. Like it's not like you guys use two dollar bills in circulation either. Um. <laughs> you used to for a time. There's some. Yeah, there's some. It used to be a thing. It's not really anymore. Like they're not like reprinting and mass oh. circulation of two dollar bills. Um, I don't know, man. My they're dad, not, bro, they're a special thing. People collect them. Nah, man. My dad go. He has got a uh, little. <laughs> he's got a little Chinese restaurant or something he goes to, and they're no, like they're like brand new, man. They look freshly printed. Okay, in reference, they are real. Okay, <laughs> it's starting to sound real sketchy, but they are real. I have one. It's in my my thing, but he got a whole bunch of them just the other day. Crispy. Listen, two dollar bills are real. I'm not saying they're not real, but like again, when you go to the store here and you get change, you don't. You get two ones. I get a two dollar coin. Sometimes. You get a two dollar bill here though. Yeah, sometimes when they're in there, when somebody went and done spent that fucking two dollar bill, nobody even like whatever, bro. Those, those things they're not it's not the same thing. And you know it's not what's the coin made out of, do you know? I don't even know what your government's giving you. I'm telling you it is the spin. Well you're in a crypto world, so you're really the metallic coin. Uh, da, 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 da. It's probably nickel and copper, or it's, maybe even less, maybe brass. 99% aluminum bronze inner core and the outer steel nickel plating ring. Oh, gosh. That ain't worth a shit. No, it's not. It's it's worth about as much as the money that you, the paper that your money's printed on, too, bro. Yeah, exactly. It means cock soup. Well, I was just curious because it was a coin if it had any value in it. Like, there's yeah, I mean, said there was copper just, in just, there, just but like that's your nickels, just... our nickels aren't made of nickel anymore either. They're nickel plated. Oh man, yours too. Ah, I just still made a nickel. No, the fuck they're not. Look it up. Mm-hmm. Nah, you look it up. You're wrong, son. They might not. And then they may have changed it after the nickel sh- short squeeze. That could have happened. I don't know in the last couple of years. It was real, real yeah. recent. Yeah. Oh, there's a somebody with a season two, but yeah. he's not in a clan. Um, a nickel now in the U.S. is seventy five percent copper and twenty five percent nickel. Oh yeah, they changed it. Uh huh. Yeah, they changed it. Well, I was telling everybody, man, keep keep your nickels. Yeah, oh, if you have any be nickels before 2004, nickels. you better keep them. What is it, before 2004? Yep. Damn, son. Excuse me. I mean, keep the copper ones, too. Copper's still valuable. Yeah, it's Copper's still worth something, but it's not worth nickel. <laughs> not yet, but if something was to happen in one of these crazy uh, banks try to short copper... And they got short squeezed the same way Chase got short squeezed with nickel. Well, I don't know if inflation keeps going up. I mean, copper, it's a conductive metal, so it's got yeah, it's got valuable properties. You never know. It may not be like worth a whole bunch, but if you because it's been so prevalent, if you have piles and piles of it, you know, yeah. it could come in handy. Yeah. If your paper money decides to literally become unusable, it's just a possibility. That's Venezuela, Myanmar, Germany. Well, uh, well, where the Zimbabwe. fuck was uh, Ask Colombia, bro? Colombia. Plenty of countries have. They were burning the fucking stuff. money yeah. to stay warm rather than fucking pay for heat. People yeah. burn the money. Yeah, that's, that's going to happen if inflation doesn't get under <laughs> control. Well, guys, uh, this will be our last match, uh, and then we're going to head over to the Zilly space for May the 4th uh, for their big Star Wars shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're catching this, catching this video later today, 
because this will be posted at 7 p.m. Eastern. Catching it later, and you hear that shout out to Zillies. Go and check out that space. Check out the space, check out the merch. All that. They've got dope merch. I love Zilly merch. And while you're doing that, don't forget to laugh at me for thinking that we're live. Have you been live? This, have you been thinking we're live this whole time? No, no, just right now when I said it. Uh, for some reason, I was like thinking we're live. Yeah, well, that's all right, man. I still got the Zilly shout out in there to the whole point of what it needed to be. But we are going to be trying out some new games here soon. I think, uh, I think next episode. Yeah, I th you know what? This makes sense. On the weekends, we should try different games because we'll already be streaming the Mini Royale stuff. Yeah. So weekends, we'll try other games. Makes sense. I mean, I think uh, until we find one we really like, and then we'll start a weekend season of that. Yeah. Or we? Are, yeah. Are we? Are we sticking to Web three only on this channel? No, we don't. No, we don't have to. I would. I prefer Web three games, but I know. Trying the games out. Yeah. Yeah, like that. I mean, that's the point, right? Is like so. Um, I think we can get some good content with some other games. For and sure. also, like, at least playing them on stream makes it semi played or Yeah, yeah. I do want to look at the one that Loki AG clan member sent us. Have What's him that? come in there. Uh, Cyber Titans. That's what it was. I was going to say Clash. Tabletop. Right? Yeah, Tabletop. Got a lot of strategic. Strategery in it. Strategy. It was the auto battle. It's a fucking strategy. <laughs> Strategic. This guy's pretending to be Italian but doesn't know how to speak the language. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. Do we lose a match? No. I don't think we lost a match during this whole thing. Nope, we didn't. That's pretty impressive. I'm pretty sure I just also finished my challenges for the day. Oh, I no, the mean... MK18. Fuck, I forgot that. Oh. Ten kills with well... the MK? Fuck it, I'll play one match while I'm uh, in the stream. In the yeah, there you go. Look at there. Both of us had eight kills, finishing it off. Let me exit out of here. Do I really want to leave? Yes, I do for the time being, but I'll see you later. But yeah, we're going to definitely try a lot of different games out until we find something else that we want to play for an uh, actual series. That's the word I was looking for earlier. I'll say it in season. Series is the word. We're going to be bringing all types of content. We've got content creators all abound from stock market to gaming. And I'm back in here in this game anyway. Frameworkfortune.com. Yeah. Go check out all the content creators. What you got, Fresh? I was just going to say, you keep forgetting that you got to exit like three times to exit. Oh, I know. I know. But yeah, all right, guys. Follow Fresh. Fresh Bueller with a 6IX. Follow Framework Fortune. You can find it everywhere. You can find us all everywhere, every day, doing something, building, grinding, developing. And come join our private gaming organization as the music goes up louder. D L A D A O dot world. We're out of here.